What's up guys, it's Ryan Chair here with Lyrics version 1.5. In this new version, we've introduced a number of new features and capabilities and made some performance improvements under the hood to ensure the best quality karaoke show hosting experience with our latest karaoke show hosting software, Lyrics. So in this version, like I said, we've introduced a number of new capabilities and we're going to quickly go over those right now so you get a little bit of insight on how they work or why we've implemented what we have. So the first thing is you now have the ability or Lyrics has the ability to automatically calculate the musical key. So it'll detect the musical key and apply that in both the Camelot scale key and you know traditional musical notation musical key. So I'll demonstrate for you that real quick. The first thing you got to do is go into options and make sure that setting is enabled. In existing installations of Lyrics, you'll probably have to go in and manually enable the setting. If you're brand new to Lyrics, it's automatically set by default. So what you do is go into options and under the general tab, you'll notice a little checkbox for detect musical key. Just put a check in that and that will enable it. So the difference is when you load a song the very first time and it goes to calculate the BPM, it'll also calculate the musical key. So we'll take a track, load it to the deck, and after the track loads, you'll see that the key is displayed here and uh, the software detects it in both the Camelot scale key and the musical key, which is D. So there you go, you got your key. And if you notice right to the right of it, we'll just jump over here real quick. We've changed this section just ever so slightly. The key stepper now is a stepper, right? You've got up and down keys, or rather a plus and minus button that steps it up or down. So if I press the, mi the plus key, you're gonna see the key step up, minus key, it's gonna step down. And these are in steps. Uh, again, that's all configurable in options, whether you want that to be a you know a quarter step or a full semitone step every time you plus press the either of the buttons up or down. Uh, so what does that mean that this has changed into? Well, now this is exclusively for tempo control. So I can speed up or slow down the song without affecting key independently of the key stepper. Uh, quite a few customers requested that. It's been a feature of our DEX3 flagship software for some time, but uh, after some feedback from users, we understand how it can be applied in, in karaoke uh, that much better. So you've got a tempo control independent of your key stepper. Another big one and a highly requested change and upgrade is we've introduced the Learn button into Lyrics. Now Learn has been part of Dex3 for some time and what it allows you to do is when you click it you'll see that it puts these little blue outlines around all the different features, knobs, sliders on screen and all you have to do is click one of them such as the plus button here on the key stepper so that it's highlighted you'll see it puts a little red line around what you've clicked on and then just click a key on your keyboard to assign it. So I've just clicked my one button as a demonstration and you'll see that it applies the shortcut one. So if I click learn to step out of there, every time I hit the one button on my keyboard, as you can see, it's going to increase the key one point size. So this allows you to assign keyboard shortcuts to all the capabilities on screen for easier navigation and control while you're on the job. Another new capability which is going to make searching and finding singers through singer history a lot easier is you'll notice in the search box now you have a little S button to the right of it. This is a toggle button. Red means on, gray means off. So when you toggle this on and then type in your search, all you have to do is type in the singer's name. So there's no more of this uh, S colon than the singer's name. All you have to do is toggle the S button on, search for the singer. It's going to bring up all the songs they sang. And of course, you can then add it to rotation uh, by just double clicking the song or dragging it on top of the singer's name that's already in rotation to apply it to their existing queue. And that's it. So instead of having to click on the history list, then put an S colon and then uh, the singer's name, now you can just click the S and no matter where you are in the application, if you start searching, it's going to start locating tracks in history. 
So that's another very handy new capability that's going to make your job that much easier. Now, the filler music player received a little bit of an upgrade too. Uh, you got a couple new capabilities. One of the most important ones is you got a little mini progress bar above the main timeline here in the deck. So you've got your progress bar for the karaoke player and then this little progress bar that tells you how far into the track the background music player song is playing. So I'm going to pull this volume down a little bit. Hit the play button for the background filler music player. And as you can see, it'll start filling up. And I can jump around this track too. I can uh, jump in or back depending on where I click along this little timeline here. But that's it. So if I go to the next track, if I right click on the play or the little play button for the filler music, it'll fade into my next filler music track and start progressing along the timeline here. You also have, related to the filler music player, a new setting and options. So go into options, and you'll see right here, under your general tab, that you have an auto mix fade time. This will allow you how long, or rather, how to adjust how long that transition is between tracks or when the filler music player kicks on. There's a number of other things we're working on for filler music player uh, for the filler music player as well, but these are a nice step in the direction it seems you guys are looking to go with how the filler music player works in between singers and sets automatically. Those are the main new capabilities that we've added to version 1.5. In addition to the new features, there are a number of under the hood performance improvements and upgrades as well, things you can't see but can certainly probably feel, that are going to make lyrics run more efficiently and better overall. Uh, another thing I didn't point out earlier when discussing the key stepper is that the key algorithm that we're using for stepping has been improved as well. So there's more consistency and precision with key changes more than ever before in prior versions. That's really it for today. Keep you know, an eye on our blog, keep an eye on our social media accounts, and of course our newsletter for other improvements and announcements. Uh, we're constantly working on improving lyrics, and as you know, all upgrades are free, so go ahead and download it today to update your existing version. If you got any questions about the newest version 1.5 of lyrics, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. Thanks.